What's up guys? Um Shay. Today we'll be checking out a video called Greg Alba Clearing the Air. Restarted my computer. Went to quickly check YouTube, check my news feed, and I seen this video had been posted. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I know exactly what this is. I need to record my reaction just in case. I don't know if this is the right thing to do because it is pretty ridiculous reacting to a video if it is what I think it is. But for some reason, for some strange reason, I feel like I'm going to get a good laugh out of this just because I can't take Greg seriously sometimes. A lot of the time. That's no offense to him, he's just a very funny person. Even when he's not trying to be funny. Even when he's talking serious. Shit, even when I'm talking serious, I can't take myself serious. But technically, this is a follow-up to my video that I made about his video. If that's what I think this is. I swear to God, I have not seen this video yet. But if this is that, I want to hear what he has to say. Because this is long overdue. It's none of my business, but it's... I still want to know. I'm sure his viewers want to know what happened and what the hell's going on. And if he does fill us in, I have a feeling I know where this is going to lead to. I think this is going to lead to, and now I swear to God, I swear I have not watched this yet. I don't do fake reactions. I have a feeling Greg is going to let us know that him and Veronica are back together. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck is Shay talking about? Just wait. Just wait. Let's see what the man has to say. Hello, this is Greg Alba. What's up, Jay? Pleasure to see you again. Um, so a few months ago, about five, six months ago, That's I exactly what I thought a video it was. called Greg Alba, um, where, like an idiot, I put my personal life out there way too publicly. Um, in a very vulnerable moment, I made a really irrational decision and I, of course, I was going through a breakup with Veronica, and I put Same up this times. video where I said something in there, which concluded, which led a lot of people to conclude that Veronica broke up with me because she didn't like who I was as Ryan Wright. Um, didn't give us much off, to work with, Jay. Break a couple things down for you, Ryan Wright. Um, the difference is between like some people. I get a lot of comments this day where people go, "I like you more than Ryan Wright." I prefer Ryan Wright. I'll be joking when I say that. I'll be joking when I say that. the three main comments I get in regards to comparing Ryan Wright and Greg Allen. But if you go back to the time when I was really behaving like Ryan Wright, when I, that's all I went by and no one knew my real name, usually I would be like, hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. I'm a pervert. Like, <laughs> that was kind of my like warm-up personality before I got in front of the camera. And uh, it was fun, and I gotta say, a lot of really obscene things and really obnoxious things. Oh, I've seen all your shit today. Eh? Last me a few years as I was making them every fucking day. I didn't, honestly, I just got sick and tired of being known as the dick joke guy. I got sick and tired of being known as the king of dick jokes. The I'm slowly getting to where you are. Who just is like said, like at times it was really funny, but it, I'm that big guy. I felt kind of pressured. We're like, I gotta make a bunch of like sex jokes. So that's what people expect from me now. Originally, Ryan Wright started off as a like it wasn't intentional when i started doing it but i would just say sexual comments and i saw the reaction i would get from people commenting on youtube and it just made me like i found it really funny uh how i could provoke that's exactly what i do sex comments so i just kept making them worse and worse and worse and the idea was to, to not make clever sex jokes i was making fun of people who love sex jokes satire version of that in a way yeah and uh, it brought me a lot of the success that I have today, and I'm very grateful for that. But what I want to clear up is that, yeah, that, that, that's not me in real life. Like, do I make sex jokes? Sure, sometimes I do. Sure. But am I that crude and extreme? And of course not. Really that perverted and that sexist? No, I'm not. <laughs> the thing, though, is, is like with Veronica and I, when, when we were together, you know, like in terms of what I revealed about there being like issues in that specific department. Yeah, you should too minor, much. Honestly, it wasn't the main scope of why we broke up. Of course and not. It sucks that because of some dumb words I said that it, it sounded like that I was alluding that the main reason we broke up was because she didn't like Ryan Wright. When that's just not true. Uh, the main reason we broke up was because of 
ways I was and stupid ways and stupid things that I did. You're a dickhead. You're being a dickhead. Greg Elbow in our personal relationship off camera. Because I know. I know that a lot of times you saw us on camera together and then I did that video where I'm crying and shit. But that's not true. That was not the main reason that we broke up. I'm not here today to tell you why we broke up specifically. That's between her and I. Yeah, what I yeah. can tell you is that um, if that was the impression I left you with, I'm, I'm sorry that I did that. And I'm also really sorry to Veronica because I know she's gotten hate from it too for something that I just totally miscommunicated. Yeah. And I wanted to give us some time before I really cleared the air on it. Yeah, like she didn't break up with me because of some alter ego personality I put up in front of the camera. <laughs> That's not it. it was, there was, there was See, much more to this my video that, didn't come out how I wanted it to come and, out. Uh, Veronica is an amazing human being. She's a, she's a wonderfully kind hearted. She girl. is. She and is super talented. Honestly, and I'm not being like, to prep up for that personality, like in terms of who Greg was at that time, in terms of who I was at that time, it was uh, I wasn't at the healthiest place. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into details about Veronica and I, but ever since I did come out as who I am, uh, I've been on a lot of life changing journeys, and and I, I I just don't want people to feel like that that is the permanent staple of who I forever am now since that day. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, I, I felt like kind of sharing with you guys, uh, beyond clearing the air, sharing with you guys some updates in my life. I don't want to spend a lot of time going into my personal life on this channel or in interviews or whatever. I don't want to just keep revealing who I am. But this will be that once in a while video where I will go into a little bit more about who I am personally. Honestly, around that time, and a lot of people can vouch for this, I was on four medications. Sure. Uh, I was on Lamotrigine 200 milligrams, 100 in the morning, 100 at night. I was on Abilify, uh, 10 milligrams. I was on Sertraline 200 milligrams, AKA Zola. And I was on Adderall 40 milligrams. Sure. I was on that for several years prior to Veronica and I even dating and prior to my channel starting up. So I was on these four meds and I had struggles with certain addictions in my life. And, uh, and on top of that too, like, well, do I still smoke weed sometimes? Yeah, I still smoke weed sometimes. Yeah, buddy. In California, man. Um, but there, but at that time, like the longest time of doing this channel, it was like bong rips nonstop. <laughs> There'd be times where I was just like taking so much, just so fucking much. I would, I would take caffeine pills. they will been there, Jay. Adderall, all these other they'll things. There. I'd take like a bunch of bong rips and then I'd film, filled with all this anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd do, I'd do the videos and stuff. And uh, I was just a very unhealthy guy. It was uh, pretty mentally, funny. Mentally, emotionally, physically. Like I, 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 You're I'd looking good, Jay. Looking good now. Six months. I'm proud to say that in the past six months, uh, I like I was on those prescriptions for many years. I was diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, type two bipolar, and over the past few months, I managed to get off all my prescriptions. I've been I've been completely I weaned off, but I've been completely clean now, and I feel great. I meditate instead. I do affirmations. That's I beautiful. Now. And even though I was on Adderall, I feel like I can focus better than ever, actually. Uh, I work out a lot more. I watch what I eat a lot more. can tell, Jay. And uh, I feel more calm and I feel more like myself. And uh, so even though I, I feel like putting myself out there, such an irrational decision of putting that video out. Shit happens, and Jay. creating more drama from doing that. It was just so stupid. <laughs> At the same time, I feel stupid for putting you out there with plot video. To it, which was, I, I, it, it caused me to wake up and like clean myself up and clean my act up. I've been sober on many things now and I feel great. And also, yeah, to clear it up, that was not the reason why Veronica and I uh, broke up. And I, I really don't want people to think that so much she especially would do that yeah. over this Ryan Wright alter ego on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. <laughs> That's I feel like I put that shit out, out there. The I always love that. Shit, woman. she's an amazing human. I being. fucked always up, Jay. Has been, always will be. Uh, her and her family, fantastic people, and she is very, very, very talented. I have nothing but praise to give Veronica. And truthfully, if there's one more piece of fact about my personal life that I would give you guys, it's that if she didn't leave, I wouldn't have been able to clean myself up. 
she was able to let go of someone who wasn't good for her health at the time, wasn't good for her emotional well-being. And I completely Fair agree enough. with that. You know, I've been in therapy a lot more and uh, it was for the best at that time. And, and I'm grateful for her making the stronger decision that I wasn't willing to make. And yeah, and I'm very proud of her. And I'm proud of me too. <laughs> so yeah, just to sum it Who up. Who are you looking uh, at though? Who are you looking at? benefits came from that day. Was it a, not the smartest decision at the time? Yeah, but I guess from the bitterest experiences comes the greatest awakenings. And I know Veronica's doing well and I'm really happy for her. And uh, yeah, hopefully that clears some shit up for you guys. <laughs> you didn't clear it all up though. I'm actually talking shit. feel like I had a lot to do with putting that idea out there. Because when I had seen that video, I'm like, shit, my brother's in pain right now. I need to fucking do something. I probably made that situation a tiny bit worse. I judged a lot of what was going on based on what he said in the video, even though I knew that it wasn't just based on what he said in the video, because it never is. I made that reply video on fuck or sleep. I actually can't even remember what I said in that video. That's what I mean. I was just... Seeing it all spill out, Jay. I think I regret that video just as much as he regrets that video. His video. Kind of feel like an asshole for reacting to this video. But my intentions are good. I'm not trying to capitalize on this video. I'm not trying to gossip about your personal life. Greg. So that's right, I said Greg. Whenever I joke in my videos and Greg's name comes up. Well, not Greg. Ryan Wright comes up. I'm always taking the piss. Always. It is never serious. Half of the shit I say in my videos is never serious. And a lot of you guys who follow my channel know this. You new guys probably won't know. And I felt like I've said this a million times. But Greg inspired me to start doing reactions. I started watching his channel very early on. And I can't believe it took me nearly two years to figure out, Hey, Shay, why don't you give this reaction thing a go? I was just like, fuck. When I actually started doing it, I'm like, shit, I can actually do this. Actually, I sucked in the very beginning. I was camera shy, didn't know what to say. I felt awkward talking to this camera. Now I feel like this camera is my best friend. This camera is my everything. My counselor, my best friend, the love of my life. It's fucking everything. I can relate to Greg with the alter ego thing and the purpose of him getting into character. It gets you in the mood, gets you hyped, gets you camera ready. So you don't look like a boring fuck on camera like other reactors. And after a while, you just get used to doing it. It becomes a part of your channel, especially when you see people's reactions. Like my reactions, you know, I react to a lot of videos that involve females. Because yes, I love females. This bloody camera turned off. I don't even know where I was now. What do I have to say? Okay, let's just wrap it up. Me and Greg are a lot alike and it actually scares me. I'm slowly getting to the point where I don't want people to keep expecting like, hey, this guy loves this girl, this guy loves this girl. I mean, yeah, I love them in their own ways. See, even the seediness is still coming out. I can't fucking contain it. There's very few reactors that go out of their way to be funny, to be different, to bring life to their videos. A lot of viewers get it twisted because they think the person in the videos it's how they are every day off camera. That's why people were so shocked when Ryan came out saying that his real name is Greg Alba. They didn't understand the entire time watching his content that he was putting on his camera presence. Which I find very hard to accept because people with common sense should be able to click onto that. I'm throwing subliminal jabs at some people right now, people who have actually tried to bring my channel down as of late. Take every little thing seriously, every sarcastic remark literally, because they don't understand. That's why I hate it when people put reaction channels in the same category. They just don't know. They don't know. I feel like I'm just full of gossip today. What is it? Why am I reacting to this? Anyway, see you on the next video. Yeah, my words were all over the place. Didn't even really know what I was trying to say. No, I need to drink this coffee before I start recording. Still waiting on that phone call. Yeah, I put myself out there like that. Now it's hard for me to do that. I mean, even though it was hard for you at that time, even now you could you know, give me a call, talk for a couple of minutes like with Butters, talk about me coming over. 
to LA to visit the Butters and become a real reject. Because that's what I strive to be in life. <laughs> Gotta hold down the city